Currently, I am packing my bag to head down to the Eastern in Atlanta. I'm going to be shooting a band called The Midnight, and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to make a comparison video. I have an M10 on loan from a friend that has been very gracious to let me borrow it, and I rented a Noctilux 50 millimeter Leica lens. It does have an f-stop of 1.2, and I also have my Voigtlander 50 millimeter that has an f-stop of 1.2. Let's do a shootout and see if like a glass really is better than everything else. And can you tell the difference? All right, so the midnight show was so phenomenal. I had so much fun shooting that band. I almost can't even put into words how much fun I had. There was a moment where the saxophone player Justin went into the crowd and played his saxophone through the crowd and I could not have been smiling more. Apparently this is something that he does at some of the shows. I was not anticipating it though. It made for some really, really fun photos. So the Leica M10 that I took to the show was my control variable to help isolate the thing I wanted to focus on, which was the lenses. And I brought both of these lenses genuinely thinking that y'all were not gonna be able to tell the difference. And when I switched from using the Noctilux to using the Voigtlander, I was genuinely shocked. I maybe took four photos with my Voigtlander because when I put the lens on, something happened happened where the camera was not able to recognize the lens that I had put on and it was slowing the shutter speed down so much that nothing in the image was coming out in focus. Some of the photos came out really cool and artsy, but I immediately put the Noctilux back on because I couldn't believe how difficult it was for the Voigtlander to keep up. I later realized that part of the reason it was doing that was because in the settings, in the Leica M10, you have to turn off auto detection for the lens in order for non Leica glass to function with the camera body the way that Leica glass functions with the camera body. I'm not sure what the technical details are for that, but I know that when I turned that off, it was a huge improvement. And it turns out that the photos from both the Noctilux and the Voigtlander side by side were almost indistinguishable. Lately, I've been wanting to do more night photography and the stars must have aligned because the fair was in town and I decided this was the perfect opportunity to take the Noctilux and the Voigtlander out and really put them to the test. Now having figured out what the issue was with the Voigtlander not getting along with the Leica M10 body. So that's exactly what I did. I had so much fun doing this because I was in an environment that I wouldn't have typically been in for work and found ways to capture moments that honestly feel pretty nostalgic because going to the fair is one of those things that you just do as a kid. And when you go as an adult, it's with a different mindset. So being able to capture some of the things that I remember as a kid being really nostalgic for me was super fun. Here are some of the photos side by side so that you can see the difference or not between the Noctilux and the Voigtlander. Also, shout out to these girls because they understood the assignment. They saw me taking photos the first time around and when they came around the second time, they were screaming and yelling and waving at me and it was definitely a moment I was happy to capture. Let's talk about first impressions. I put that Noctilux lens on the camera body and I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty sweet. I really, really enjoyed shooting with that lens. It does something to lights when you're taking pictures, especially when you're taking pictures of bands on a stage and the lighting director is crushing it, that the only downside about shooting the midnight was that I just wanted to keep taking photos. Everything that I was getting out of the camera was making me more excited to take more photos. And then they were done and I was sad, so I, went on to shoot the next band because I was having so much fun using this lens. As far as the tactileness of the lens, I do prefer my Voigtlander because it's just got a little bit more grip to the focus ring when you're adjusting it. And because I've shot that lens so much, it feels natural to me when I'm getting things in focus. I did eventually get the hang of using the Noctilux, but I do feel more confident when I'm using my Voigtlander. And I can guarantee that it's just because I've used that lens more.
anymore. I'm sure that if I were to use the Noctilux as much as I've used the Voigtlander, I wouldn't feel that way. But for first impressions, I did prefer the way my Voigtlander feels over the Noctilux. And I also really did not wanna send this lens back. I did rent this lens from lensrentals.com and I ended up extending my rental because I wanted to be able to use it a little bit more and do a little bit more comparison for you. I had a total of about eight days with this lens and I'm really glad that I ended up extending that so I could get those night photos that I got at the fair because I do think that it allowed for a much better comparison between the two lenses. We do need to talk about some of the details between the two lenses that I think are super important. With the Noctilux, because it is a Leica lens, it is Leica glass, that bad boy comes in at eight grand. You can find some that are used for six grand, but if you want a new one, it's gonna cost you eight grand. And for me, that's just not in the budget for a lens. The Voigtlander is under a thousand dollars. You can get one on B&H right now for $840. So when you're looking at just the price of the lens, the Voigtlander is a much, much more affordable option than the Leica is. And while I do understand that eight grand is a ton of money, if I had the money to spend on that lens, I would buy it. It is a phenomenal lens. I love the way that it captures light. I love the way that it focuses, how smooth it is. And the lens itself, separate from the camera body, feels like it is well-made. When you hold it, it feels like it is a Leica lens. It is heavy, coming in at 14 ounces. It's a stout lens. And again, it was really hard for me to send this one back. For comparison, the Voigtlander weighs about 12 ounces. It's only two ounces lighter than the Noctilux lens, and you can't really tell a difference between the two. The biggest thing I noticed in weight was how heavy the M10 body was with the Voigtlander on it versus my M6 with the Voigtlander on it. So when I did put the Voigtlander on the M10, it felt like it was heavier, that was just because the camera body is heavier. A couple more things I wanna cover are the minimum focus of this lens, as well as the diaphragm blades. The minimum focus for the Voigtlander is 2.3 feet, and the minimum focus for the Noctilux is 3.3 feet. So you can get a little bit closer with the Voigtlander, which is awesome because I like to get as close as I can without making people uncomfortable. Sometimes I just wanna get super close to things like flowers or other subjects, and being able to get just a little bit closer is really nice. Now for the diaphragm blades, the Noctilux has 16 diaphragm blades and the Voigtlander has 12. This is something that I feel I need to mention because the Noctilux is a higher end lens, it has more blades and the blades are gonna be responsible for what the aperture looks like, the opening of the aperture looks like in your bokeh. I did notice with the Noctilux that the bokeh was a little softer and it just felt a little more dreamy. And shooting at f1.2 with the Noctilux really brings in the edges of the frame and blurs everything a lot more than the Voigtlander does. I took this photo of the midnight at the end of the show. I was standing about 10 feet away and I was a little surprised at how soft the edges of the image were. Not in a bad way. I don't typically get that when I am taking pictures with my Voigtlander. It was something different that I noted when I took those images. Is Leica glass really better? My answer is in some ways, yes. I think the dreaminess of the images that it is able to produce, unlike anything else, and the bokeh is stunning. I absolutely love the way some of these photos came out. But I will say, don't sleep on a Voigtlander lens because I have had this lens for about five years and I love it so much that I very rarely even take it off of my camera body. I've used a few other lenses on my M6 they just don't give me the same experience when I'm shooting with them that my 50 millimeter Voigtlander does. So if you can afford Leica glass, I would say this Noctilux is 1000% worth it. But if you don't wanna spend $8,000 or you can't spend $8,000 on a lens, the Voigtlander 50 millimeter is going to do a phenomenal job. And I promise you, you're going to love the images you get with it. Do keep in mind if you're purchasing the Noctilux or the Voigtlander, they are both manual focus, you cannot half press a shutter button to get your focus. The focus is difficult to get the hang of if it's not something that you're used to doing. That's a pretty key point if you're looking at either of these lenses. Here are some more of the photos I captured with this lens of Chromio, the Midnight, Girl Ultra, and the local fair.
that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It does really help keep me motivated in making these videos for you. I'll make sure I put everything we used today down in the description so you have access to it, as well as a link to some Polaroids that I might be putting up on my website for sale. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Tilly Scholl, and I'll catch you on the next one.